Hello, middle school. We are super late on our devotion today. I'm super sorry. Um, first of all, I'm coming to you from my basement. Um, we have a construction project going on behind me. Um, we decided during quarantine to build a room in our basement and change a whole bunch of stuff around. So, you know, what else do we have to do? Um, so today was a little bit of a crazy day. And if you want me to be perfectly honest, I just had a rough day. Um, I just, it hit me this morning when I woke up, all of the things that um, we've missed. You know, last week we would have been in D.C. and the 8th graders missed that. Um, I've missed seeing my family. Uh, my nephew was born six weeks ago. I miss, I miss him. I haven't even gotten to hold him. Um, you know, I miss graduating from graduate school. Our 8th graders are going to have a crazy graduation. Like, it just just kind of hit me today. And so it's been kind of a rough day. So my morning was rough. And to be honest, I just forgot about doing a devotion. But this one is a great one and um, kind of speaks to me a little bit. So I hope that it speaks to you also. So I'm going to read through the devotion and then we'll go over the scriptures when I'm finished. So the third lit looter or our joy stealer is the 404 error. In computer jargon, we all understand that a 404 error is when you can't seem to find the web page or the website you're looking for. It's almost like you have lost control, right? And when you think of it, you really have. When we lose control, we freak out because our current lifestyles persuade us to be control freaks. I don't know if anybody else is struggling with this, but I don't like having somebody else tell me what I can and cannot do. Like... Some, there are days when I don't mind just being in my house, but I don't want to be in my house because somebody told me I had to stay there, right? Um, we try and control our schedules in our lives. We even go to the extent of trying to control the lives and the schedules of others. My dog is scratching his back. Stop. Sorry. See, I can't control my dog. Well, to a certain limit, we can control things, but the paranoia associated with power and the desire to control can run us into the lit looter, the 404 error. This can mess up our horizontal and vertical relationships and leave us in a miserable place. Life has a way of bringing us to a point where some things are not in our control. The antidote for the 404 error is a simple five letter word, trust. In many ways, it brings us to a point where we learn to be learn that being self-sufficient isn't necessarily not being interdependent. Does that make sense? So being self-sufficient doesn't mean we're not interdependent. We learn to trust people who God has placed in our lives. So we learn to trust God. So we can trust people and we can be interdependent, but we're also still self-sufficient and we can do our homework without our moms telling us that we have to get it done, right? We learn to trust God. Scripture teaches us in Proverbs 3, 5 through 6, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your paths straight. This joy robber can run you into a time and space where you aren't in control. But you realize that's fine because God is in absolute control. We remember the story of Jesus in the boat with his disciples in Mark 4. The control strategy of the disciples didn't work well. They panicked and tried to get back into control. And they tried to persuade Jesus into a guilt trip. But by the end of the lesson, they had to just learn to trust Jesus. Ernest Hemingway said, The best way to find out if you can trust somebody is to trust them. The world seems to have run into a 404 error situation where we can't seem to find a cure. But we know who has the cure. We can trust Jesus. God intends for us to have life in all its fullness. That's from John 10.10. But lit looters don't. You may, may you find grace and strength to overcome your joy stealers. So the prayer that comes with this um, devotion is, Dear Heavenly Father, help me to remember that you are in absolute control. Even when I lose control, help me to trust you even when I don't understand. And the scriptures, one we've already read, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him and he will make your path straight. And that's Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. And then Mark 4, 35 through 41 says the day, that day when evening came, he said to his disciples, let's go over to the other side, leave the crowd behind. They took him along just as he was in the boat. 
There were also other boats with him. A furious squall came up, and the waves broke over the boat so that it was nearly swamped. Jesus was in the stern, sleeping on a cushion. The disciples woke him and said to him, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? He got up, rebuked the wind, and said to the waves, Quiet, be still, just like I said to my dog. Then the wind died down, and it was completely calm. He said to the disciples, Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? They were terrified and asked each other, Who is this? Even the wind and waves obey him. And then last, John 10:10, 10, 10, the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy, but I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. So when we let go and we trust God, even in this crazy, crazy time where we don't know what's going on, we don't know what the end of the school year is going to bring, the summer is going to bring, August is going to bring, but we do know that we have a God that cares about us and he loves us and he wants us to have joy and he wants us to have peace in these moments of craziness. So that's what I'm praying for you, that you will have joy and peace. Again, like I tell you every week, if you need anything, you email me or Mrs. Carol or Mrs. Morgan and we will be praying for you. Um, it was so great to see you guys on Friday, most of you, um, just to see your faces. Um, it was super, super fun. Um, but uh, we will be together sometime. We will see you. So I will talk to you soon. Love you all.